One of the hidden secrets of developing VBA is the immediate window. Hi, this is Randy with Excel for Freelancers, and today we're going to learn everything you need to know about mastering the immediate window and how you can use this important tool in your Excel application development. It's going to be a great quick training, so you won't want to miss a minute of it. I do these trainings each and every single week, in fact, twice a week, Tuesday for the Excel application development where we create comprehensive excel applications with free templates and each and every weekend here on saturday for our basic vba courses so make sure you do get subscribed click the notification icon bell this template cheat sheet is absolutely free as it is with every single training all you need to do is click the link down in the description and make sure you comment below i respond to each and every comment let's get started on this training so first of all what is the immediate window well, the immediate window, it is a powerful tool within the VBA or Visual Basic application. It's actually used for debugging and executing code one line at a time, and it's going to really help you. If you haven't used much of it, I'm going to show you how you can use it today. We're going to go step by step how all the features of the immediate window. We can test individual lines of code. We can print out variable during code execution. We can debug and diagnose errors. So it's going to help us fix those bugs. So let's get in. How do we actually access the immediate window? Well, the first thing is you want to get into the VBA editor. So to do that, we can use a quick shortcut such as Alt F11 or we can use it through our developers tab. Now, if you don't have that developers tab available, sometimes we don't, all you need to do is just right click anywhere on the toolbar here, click customize ribbon. You could also go into the options developer, select that there. If you don't wanna go through there, we can go through the options here, just click on the options and we can see inside here, our customized ribbon. We also have the same here. So make sure you click on that developer. Once it is available, we can click on visual basic. And what that's gonna do is gonna launch the visual basic for applications. And inside here is where we're gonna find our immediate window. So we can also use a shortcut to get to the immediate window. We can use here control G. What that's gonna do is launch that immediate window. And you see this window down here. Now we don't have any module open. So in order to write some code, we're gonna to wanna to add a module. So we're gonna click insert and then module. So our VBA code is gonna go here and we'll be able to access the immediate window here and all of its features. And the immediate window is multi-purpose. It can display values when we debug print, and I'll be going over that with you, or you can actually use it to run and write some code. So let's write our first basic subroutine so we can see how the most fundamental part of the immediate window works. We can just try in a sub. Let's do debug example. I'm gonna write our first subroutine. We'll dimension the X as an integer, and then what we'll do is just do X equals 10. Now maybe we want to display that value. So in order to place something inside the immediate window, we would do debug.print. Now print is gonna print into that immediate window. And we can put in anything we want. We could say such as the value of X is, and the quotation marks, and X. So we wanna know the value of X. So now all we need to do is simply run it using F5 or run the subroutine, and we can see that the value of X is 10. So that works quite nicely. Anytime we use the debug print, whatever happens after that is what's gonna appear inside the immediate window. So if I were to change this just to 10 here, and we can see that it's just gonna enter the amount only and nothing else. What is in the immediate window does not necessarily get cleared out unless we manually clear it out. We can do control A and then delete, and it's gonna clear the immediate window. So what's inside the immediate window will stay until we clear it out. We can also use the immediate window to test expressions. So let's write a new subroutine, sub test expression. Now inside this, what we'll do is we'll dimension the result as double, and we'll just create a little formula here. So the result is equal to, let's do five times seven. So now what we want to do is we're going to write debug dot print, and then we want to show what it is. So five here inside the quotation marks times seven equals and then we'll do the quotation marks we'll use a semicolon because we want that calculated here and then inside this what i want to do is i want to display the result so we'll do the result and that's going to appear inside the immediate window so when we run that code or use f5 we see that we have displayed five times seven equals the result so it's going to show that result and the variable we can also use the immediate window during runtime while the code is running and we can display variables to do that so we can also check the object properties or variables so here's another sample we could do sub check 
properties. And we can do something like if we want to know the active sheet name, we can do debug dot print active sheet name and we'll do the active sheet dot name. So it's going to print that out inside the immediate window. Clearing our previous results here, we can run that. Now, maybe we want to know exactly what is going on inside our macro during the operation of a macro. The VBA immediate window can certainly help us with that. So let's write a little subroutine here, sub conditional check. And we'll simply write it down here. We're going to dimension the X as an integer. And we also want to say X equals 15. If X is greater than 10, then we can do debug dot print something such as X is greater than 10. Else debug dot print X is less than 10. And then we'll do make sure our end if is there, which it is. So now we can run this macro just as it is, and it's going to display inside the immediate window as expected. However, during the run, if we want to step through the code using F8, we can do that, or we can do toggle the breakpoints or step into using F8 here. So we can do that. And what we want to do using F8, as soon as the variable is passed, we can actually learn the value of that using the immediate window, using the question mark, and then asking a question. So we can do something like that. And we see that X equals 15. So we can use the question mark that will allow Excel to display variable results, or it can display calculations. So it can be very helpful when trying to debug, you have an issue, and you want to understand what the value is of a variable or certain conditions. So that's going to help out. And if we continue on with this macro, we see that X is greater than 10 and it's going to display inside the immediate window. We can also use the immediate window to run entire subroutines. So for example, if I were to copy this and I were to paste it down here, it is going to run the entire macro here. So we can actually use it simply by copying and pasting the macros. We can also use the word run, but this is fine. So if I were to use the word run, it's also going to work. So let's go ahead and clear this out so we don't double the results. And I can put in the word run here, and it's also going to run the macro here, as long as we include the quotation marks. So we include the quotation marks, and then that will run it. So that's another way to do it, but you can just write the macro in. I just write the macro in usually, and that will allow you to run it. We can also have the immediate window display the results of a loop. So let's take a look at how that might work. So we can do sub loop example and now what we can do is we are going to dimension i as integer and here we can write in 4i equals 1 to 5 and then make sure we close our loop next i so we want to debug here debug dot print loop iteration and space quotation marks and whatever i is so now it's simply going to loop out and it's going to write all the values into our immediate window. So we see loop iteration one through five, it displays here. So it can be very, very helpful displaying information as the macro runs. We often use message box, but this can be a little bit annoying. But if you want to display something, we can do that. But it's much easier to use the immediate window because we could see we continue down here. It's a great way to use it to display values as we learn what's going on inside our macros. We can also use the immediate window to actually assign variables. So x equals 15. If we do that and we want to know what x is, we see that it remembers what X is. So we can use it as well, like in a subroutine, where we can assign variable values and then display those variables. So we can hold information as well inside the immediate window. We can also stop the code at certain points and do an inspection. So we can do something like if I equals three, then stop. And we can change this back instead of a message box, we can put the debug dot print. So now running the code here, we're going to see that it goes through three iterations and then it stops. At this point, we are welcome to use the window if we want. We can type in anything. If we want to know the value of i that it's currently at, it is three. So using the question mark can help us and we can stop the code at any point and then use the immediate window. Just like we can use step through the code using F8 and using the immediate window during the code run. And that's can be very, very helpful when trying to debug issues within our code. Let's go ahead and reset this. I want to take a look 
I've created a little bit of a cheat sheet for you in which you can download. It's going to let you know how to access the immediate window and the shortcuts, whether we can execute the code simply by saying run any VBA code. We can do that directly inside the VBA, meaning we can just simply write something like message box hello and that's going to work directly inside the immediate window so it acts as a macro in itself to do that and we can also print using debug print we can do that we can also have it calculate expressions using the question mark as you saw we can run subroutines directly from the immediate window we can assign variables we can then debug those variables we can also debug print objects or any information about the worksheet or the workbook or the cell or the range or whatever we want to do we can use that any type of properties we can also test and print results conditions which we saw we can also create loops and we can display all the information or the results of those loops as the loop is going through we can also test for lines of code we can use on air resume next we can set breakpoints if we want to do that if i want to set a breakpoint here i can do just that so as it loops we can stop it and then we can then use the immediate window so that can be helpful we can also use the word stop to create our own breakpoint that's also going to be set at a certain information point that we want to stop it and we can use the immediate window to do that and so that's a nice little cheat sheet so i've got here all the information that you can use you can download this template and cheat sheet absolutely free along with all of the code that we have done today i do appreciate your continued support this is a quick one because the immediate window is a great but simple feature i'll be creating these simple basic vba trainings each and every saturday so i hope you do get subscribed let me know what you want to see i've got an entire playlist of everything from basic vba if you do like these trainings you do want to support there's a great product that i have called the ultimate developers vba library i've got over 500 macros inside that to help you build incredible applications in one tenth of the time it's automatic search and you've got a auto hotkey so that you can quickly automatically type just like i do when you see my training sometimes i type with sort and automatically and that comes with auto hotkeys so you can have all of that ability too inside the ultimate developers libraries hope you'll grab that thank you so much for your continued support and we'll see you next week